In the pasture of this world, I endlessly push aside the tall grasses in search of the bull. Following unnamed rivers, lost upon the interpenetrating paths of distant mountains, my strength failing and my vitality exhausted, I cannot find the bull. I only hear the locusts cheering through the forest at night. Along the riverbank, under the trees, I discover footprints. Even under the fragrant grass, I see his prints. Deep in remote mountains, they're found. These traces can no more be hidden than one's nose looking heavenward. I hear the song of the nightingale. The sun is warm, the wind is mild. Willows are green along the shore. Here no bull can hide. What artist can draw that massive head, those majestic horns? A season with a terrific struggle. His great will and power are inexhaustible. Charges to the high plateau far above the cloud mists. Or in an impenetrable ravine he stands. The whip and rope are necessary. Else he might stray off down some dusty road. Being well trained, he becomes naturally gentle. Then, unfettered, he obeys his master. Mounting the bull, slowly I return homeward. The voice of my flute intones through the evening. Measuring with hand beats the pulsating harmony, I direct the endless rhythm. Whoever hears this melody will join me. Stride the bull, I reach home. I'm serene, the bull too can rest. The dawn has come. In blissful repose, within my thatched dwelling, I have abandoned the whip and rope. Whip, rope, person, and bull all merge in no thing. This heaven is so vast, no message can stain it. I may a snowflake exist in a raging fire. Here are the footprints of the patriarchs.
Too many steps have been taken returning to the root and the source. Better to have been blind and deaf from the beginning. Dwelling in one's true abode, unconcerned with that without. The river flows tranquilly on, and the flowers are red. Barefooted and naked of breast, I mingle with the people of the world. My clothes are ragged and dust laden, and I am ever blissful. I use my magic to extend my life. Now before me the dead trees become alive.